हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वर्टिकल एंगल मेजरमेंट बाय मेकिंग यूज ऑफ थ्योरोमाइक एज यू लर्न द कंटेंट यू विल बी एबल टू यूज थ्योरोइट इन ऑर्डर टू मेजर द वर्टिकल एंगल as well as to lay off a vertical angle and also you will be able to use theodolite for leveling operations measurement of the vertical angle is very important task as far as land surveying operations are concerned as we measure the vertical angle we can make use of trigonometrical functions in order to reduce that vertical angle to various entities we can make use of this particular vertical angle in order to determine the vertical ordinates in turn that vertical ordinates can be used in order to determine the reduced level of the stations even the vertical angle is basic measurement for tachometric operations as such use of theodolite for measurement of the vertical angle is crucial operation as you know vertical angle is an angle between the inclined line of sight and the horizontal it may be an angle of elevation or it may be angle of depression according to the object situated above or below the horizontal plane sketch a b c depicts the various cases of vertical angle as we got acquainted with the basic terms involved in surveying you know that any surface which is parallel to the mean spiral surface can be treated to be leveled surface this is nothing but horizon hence any line which is tangential to this particular leveled surface can be considered to be horizontal line as it is lying in the horizontal plane so as we define this particular level surface as we define this particular horizontal plane and horizontal line we can define the vertical direction which is defined by freely suspended plumb bob and the direction given by that freely suspended plumb bob is nothing but vertical axis of the equator the upward direction of any instrument setup gives the direction of zenith so here the zenith can be measured it can be referred to measure the vertical angles in the vertical plane and that can be expressed as zenith angles so extent being 0 to 180 degrees whereas if this particular vertical angle if this particular vertical angles are to be measured with respect to horizontal line it would be expressed as angle of elevation which are normally treated to be positive and the angle of depression which are treated to be negative so vertical angles can be measured with respect to zenith as well as it can be measured with respect to horizontal line that is nothing but the horizontal plane both these measurements are possible with theodolite like equipment mostly as we discuss digital instrumentation the angle measurement with reference to zenith is mostly preferred let me 
typically we follow these steps in order to measure a vertical angle for the kind of pseudolites that are available in the market. Say we wish to measure the angle up to station A with respect to instrument station O. So we'll be setting up the theodolite at this station. We'll be carrying out all the temporary adjustment. We'll be making use of plate level in order to level that particular equipment initially. Then we'll be using the altitude level tube in order to level the equipment. Here, centering of the equipment is very important step because we are measuring the angle with respect to vertical plane. In the vertical plane, with respect to vertical axis, with respect to horizontal axis, hence that vertical axis must be passing through the station under consideration and that would be facilitated by correct centering operation. Then we have to set the vernier to read exactly 0, 0 by making use of the vertical circle clamp and its tangential screw. Thus, the line of sight is made horizontal and vertical axis is truly vertical. Here, both vernier C and vernier D will be reading 0, 0. Now, loosen this particular vertical circle clamp, release the telescope and direct it towards the object A. Bisect it exactly and by making use of tangent screw, have the bisection correctly done. At this particular instant, we can read both one year C as well as one year D on the vertical circle. And the mean of the two vernier readings gives the value of the required vertical angle. Usually, step 1 through 5 are initially done with face left condition. Now, release the equipment, change the face and repeat the steps. As such, you will be getting another set of required angle. So, average of these two angles is nothing but required value of the vertical angle if the instrument is free from the errors. So, in order to measure that particular vertical angle, we have to refer to vertical circle its main scale as well as vernier C as well as vernier D. So the way you see here, main scale reads 22 degrees 20 minutes here. Whereas given the consideration, the way the graduations are increasing, we have to refer to the respective vernier scale so the way you see here, 6 minutes are fully covered and its next division is coinciding with the menscal division. Hence, the vernier reading is 6 minutes 20 seconds. As such, here we can express that particular angle as 22 degrees 26 minutes and 20 seconds. For the various cases, we can have the angle deduced. Say for example, if we wish to measure angle AOP, so as cited earlier, the cases could be sum of elevation angle as well as depression angle or difference of the angles that are observed if both the line of sights are elevated or both the line of sight are depressed. So here, we'll be citing A initially, we'll be determining the angle, say it is alpha. Similarly, we'll 
site station P and will determine that particular angle as beta. So according to the prevailing case, the sum of angles and the difference of the angles would be given to determine angle A O B. For that, here what are the steps that we discussed on the earlier slide are to be followed. It is also beneficial to record the vertical angle in such tabular statement the way you see here. Instrument station is O. So the sighted station is A or it could be B because we wish to measure angle A O B in vertical plane. When we sighted to A, angle was read on vernier C as 5 degree 45 minute 20 second. On vernier D, we have taken simply the reading of vernier. So here the mean comes to be 5 degree 45 minute 10 second. As such, for this particular case, vertical angle will be 5 degree 45 minute 10 second with face left condition. In the similar manner, with face right condition, the angle could be read as 5 degree 45 minute 20 second. And here for the first setting of the equipment, we get angle with respect to station A as 5 degree 45 minute 15 second. Whereas with respect to station B, by following the steps that we have discussed initially and the way we made the entries with respect to A, here the another set will be giving us average vertical angle as minus 15 degrees 45 minute 15 second. As such, here this angle AOB could be expressed as 21 degrees 30 minute 30 second. So according to the requirement, the way we discussed about the face left conditions, face right conditions. So we can have the face left measured thrice, face right measured thrice and accordingly we can have the average in order to obtain the vertical angle. In order to lay up the vertical angle, we can follow the similar steps. This particular operation is especially required when we wish to set a particular gradient or if we wish to set particular station at particular reduce level or simply setting certain object at the requisite angle. So there could be a lot many applications as far as laying of this particular vertical angles. The way we discuss about the applications of uh, theodolite at that time we would better discuss that. So in order to lay up this particular vertical angle, set level center with respect to the plate level and then subsequently with respect to altitude level on the required instrument station. Set the vertical circle to read required angle using vertical circle and tangential with both face left mode. Now clamp the vertical motion, keep the upper motion clamped and turn theodolite until the line of sight is directed in the requisite direction clamp the lower screw. Now in this particular direction we can keep the ranging rod and as we look through the eyepiece we can make use of reference here and accordingly we can mark say station P on that particular ranging rod. Now after changing the face again we follow the same process and we mark the same position. If there is some error, we won't be getting P as P, but we would be getting it as say station Q or mark Q. So here we can bisect the distance PQ in order to locate the correct point. So the way we refer the main scale, vernier scale in the similar manner, here we can make use of that. Here as we lay up the requisite angle, the index should be coinciding with the zero of the main scale. Here, as we are equipped with a telescope, that is we have got eyepiece, we have got object glass, hence we can define the horizontal line of sight by making use of plate level as well as by making use of this altitude level tube and the leveling head. Hence, the way we perform with level, all the operations can be done with this particular theodolite also. So needless to say, 
in order to how the line of sight horizontal will be making use of the leveling head will level the equipment of course as we are dealing with the leveling centering is not essential then by making use of vertical circle vertical clamp its tangential will be making the line of sight horizontal now the equipment is ready in order to take the stop readings so the operation as such is very simple as far as the use of theodolite as a level is concerned only the thing is that under exceptional circumstances only we would prefer to make use of this particular theodolite as a level because uh, otherwise theodolite is bulky as compared to dumpy level treating level auto level and such thing and that's why here its usage is not say that beneficial so i hope the vertical angle measurement is clear to you thank you for your attention as we move ahead we will discuss about use of theodolite for various applications in land survey so by till then i wish you very happy learning thank you thank you very much